Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Susan Singh. So in this particular video, we will solve CAT 2019, CAT 2019 percentages, profit and loss question. So there are total eight question uh, in percentages, profit and loss. But in this particular video, we will solve only four question and the remaining four question will solve in the another video. So let's start with the first question. This is the first question. Guys, pause this video, solve the question, then check my solution. So let's read the question. In a class, 60% of the students are girls and rest are boys. It means that 40% are boys. There are 30 more girls than the boys. It means that the difference between girls and boys is 30. If 68% of the students, including 30 boys, pass an examination, the percentage of girls who do not pass, who do not pass means we have to find the percentage of girls who do not pass. So suppose, let kar lete hain, like in class, there is 100x student. So three approach. So in 2017, the same types of question came. Uh, we uh, solved 2017 question. So in that question, we follow the three approach. So same concept, but the different uh, value and all. But concept is same like three, three, three approach. So 60% girls and boys. So 60x girls. So rest are boys. It means 40 boys. There are 30 more girls than the boys. It means that 30 more girls than the boys. It means the difference between girls and boys is 30. The difference between girls and boys here is 20x. According to our assumption, it is 20x. But according to question, it is 30. So 30. So a value of x 30 by 20. It means that 3 by 2 or 1.5. So we got the strength of class that is 150. And the uh, number of girls 90. 60 into 1.5 90. And um, 60 is boys. So 60 boys, 90 girls. Now what the question is saying, like 68% of the student, including 30 boys, 68% of the student, including 30 boys, it means that 30 boys, which have include has 68% total student. Mein. So 68% of 150, so 68% of 150, hum bang nikal lete hain. so cancel out. So 68 into 15, 15, it's ja, 120, so 0, 12 in hand, 15, 6, ja, 90, 12, 1, 0, 2. So 102 divided by 100. So 102. So total, total 102 a student pass the exam, including 30 boys. So remaining are girls. So 27, 72 are girls. Now 72 girls if pass wala hai. Like 72 girls pass in examination. So how much girls do not pass exam? So subtract uh, 72 from 90. So 18, 18 girls do not pass exam. But we have to find the percentage of girls who do not pass. So 18 girls do not pass out of how much girls? So 90. So 18 by 90 into 100. So 5. Five, twenty. So, 20% 20 girls, 20% 20 girls who do not pass, so answer is 20. Very easy question. I hope this is clear to you. So, solve the second question. Guys, pause the video, solve the question, then check solution. It is a humble request to you. Otherwise, you can't get approach. Like, you can't develop your own approach, how to solve the question. So read the question. Mina score 40% in an examination. Okay. Out of total, Mina score 40%. And after review, even though he is her, even though her score is increased by 50%. Okay. She fails by 35%. 35 marks. Okay. If her post-review score is increased by 20%, 
she will have seven more marks than the than the passing score okay the percentage score needed for the passing the examination it, it means that we have to find passing marks and then usko hum log percentage mein convert kar lenge so humko passing marks find out karna hai this is our goal so let's suppose and the option is 60 80 75 70 so let's suppose total marks is 100x it means that 100 mark 100x marks ka examination hua and meena got 40% of 100x so how much 40x but after review even though her score is increased by 50% it means that this is the pre review but after review his score increased by 50% it means that after review the score of meena is 3 by 2 into 40x 50 50% the fractional value is 1 by 2 इंक्रीज है सो थ्री बाई टू सो ट्वेंटी इट मीन सिक्सटी एक्स अदरवाइज हम लोग ऐसे डायरेक्ट भी लिख सकते थे कि फोर्टी एक्स का फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्वेंटी होगा तो जस्ट एड फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी सो सिक्सटी एक्स नो नीड टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स बट सी फेल्स बाय थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स इट मीन्स डेट सिक्सटी एक्स इक्वल टू पासिंग मार्क्स माइनस थर्टी फाइव जो सिक्सटी एक्स है वो पासिंग मार्क्स से थर्टी फाइव कम है तभी तो वो फेल हुआ है थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स से सो इट मीन्स डेट पासिंग मार्क्स इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस थर्टी फाइव सी जावर वन क्वेश्चन ओके If her post review score is increased by twenty percent, it means that ये तो एक review था अब post review यहाँ से भी twenty percent score increase हो रहा है so twenty percent is how much so six six x is ten percent so twenty percent is twelve x so twenty percent का increment है तो sixty x plus twelve x is seventy two x she will have seven marks more than the passing marks it means that 72x equal to passing marks plus 7 so passing marks equal to 72x minus 7 so here this is the passing marks this is also passing marks so equate the equation so 72x minus 7 equal to Sixty x plus thirty five. So subtract. So twelve x equal to say forty two. So x equal to forty two by twelve. Fourteen three ja forty two four three ja twelve. So seven or two. So value of x is seven by two. Means that three point. Five. So total marks, we got the value of x. We can get total marks. So total marks is three fifty, three point five into hundred, three fifty. Passing marks, put the value of x in either this or this. We get the passing marks. So यहाँ पे put करते हैं. So passing marks would be sixty into three point five. So sixty into three point five plus thirty five equal to so six five ja thirty zero three six three ja eighteen two one zero plus thirty five so two forty five so two forty five marks Mina needed to pass the exam but we have to find the percentage. In terms of percentage, so two forty five out of thirty five into hundred, so one zero one zero cancel out. So seven five ja. So five uh, four five four 
रीड करते हैं सेलिंग पेन एट फाइव परसेंट लॉस ओके एंड बुक का फिफ्टीन परसेंट गेन करीम गेन सेवन रुपीज सेवन If he sell the pen at five percent again, okay. Here is loss. Here is gain, and the book at ten percent again. He gains thirteen rupees. What is the cost price of book in rupees? Okay, fine. So let's assume the cost price of book or book and pen. So let the cost price of pen is hundred p and book hundred b. But on selling a pen at five percent loss, it means that five percent loss means ninety five p pe sell kar raha pen ko usko five p ka loss hua and Book at fifteen percent gain. It means that one one five the fifteen p ka gain kiya wo and Karim gain seven rupees. It means it means that according to our assumption, minus five p is loss and fifteen p is gain. So minus five p loss plus fifteen p gain. So this is equal to Karin gain seven rupees, seven total gain seven. So total this loss and this gain is equal to seven rupees. So this is equation one. A next is he sell pen at five percent gain. It means that he gain five p. Five percent gain. It means he sell one not five p. So five percent gain and book at. Ten percent gain. It means book sold one one zero b ten so ah uh, ten b gain so five p plus ten b is equal to how much he gain total thirteen so thirteen this is equation two solve both the equation so minus five p plus fifteen p equal to seven so five p plus Ten b equal to thirty. So this is minus. This is plus. So cancel out. So twenty five b equal to twenty. So b equal to twenty by twenty five. It means four by five. We got the value of b, and we have to find the cost price of book. So we assume the cost price of book is hundred b, and we got the value of b. So put the value of b. So hundred into Four by five, so twenty twenty into four, eighty. It means the cost price of book is eighty rupees. So option C. I hope this is clear to you. Otherwise, यहाँ पे हम एक direct भी approach कर सकते हैं कि suppose जो pen है, उसका तो cost price दोनों condition में same है. तो ये five percent loss है, यहाँ five percent gain है, तो ये अपने आप में cancel हो जाएगा. इसको हमको लिखने की need ही नहीं है. यहाँ पे फिफ्टीन परसेंट गेन सात रुपीज यहाँ पे टेन परसेंट गेन थर्टीन रुपीज सो इस वे से भी हम सॉल्व कर सकते हैं बट मैंने ये पूरा डिटेल अप्रोच बताया ताकि आपको कंफ्यूजन एंड कंफ्यूजन ना हो और इजीली समझ में आए तो सॉल्व करते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इस वीडियो का लास्ट क्वेश्चन सॉरी सो दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एंड वी विल सॉल्व द रिमेनिंग फोर क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो Read the question. The income of Amla is twenty percent more than that of Bimla, and twenty percent less than that of Kamla. If Kamla income goes down by four percent, okay, and Bimla goes up by ten percent, 
then the percentage by which Kamala Kamala income would exceed Bimla is nearest to nearest to it means that we have to find the nearest value मतलब कुछ fraction वगैरह में आएगा so हमको nearest value लेना है जो integer में आएगा okay so this is a very standard type question you get this type of, this type of question in a frequent way in mock also so <coughs> amla is 20 percent so in income of amla is 20 percent more than the bimla it means that 20 percent is 1 by 5 so more it means that 6 by 5 into bimla and amla income 20 percent less than that of kamala so 4 by 5 that of kamala अब देखो यहां पे कुछ आ गया और गाइस मैंने एक चीज भी बताया था जो लास्ट वीडियो में 2017 वाले में कि जब भी परसेंटेजेस परसेंटेजेस एंड परसेंटेजेस एंड परसेंटेजेस सारे चीजें परसेंटेजेस में है तो वी विल टेक द इंटीजर वैल्यू मतलब हम कोई वेरिएबल uh, नहीं अज्यूम करेंगे क्योंकि सारे कंडीशन परसेंटेज में है सो वी टेक दिस एज एडवांटेज टू अज्यूम द एनी इंटीजर वैल्यू सो लेट्स सपोज we take the value of B hundred five ka multiple hundred very easy value. So income of A six by five into hundred. So two zero so one twenty. Income of Amla is one twenty. Put the value of A here. So one twenty equal to four by five into K. So thirty. So income of Kamala is three five one fifty. We got the income of all three person A, B, and C. But question is saying that Kamala income goes down by 4%. Okay, Kamala income is 150 and go down by 4%. So 4% is how much? So 15 is 10% and 1.5 is 1%. 15 is 10%, 1.5 is 1%, simply 10 से divide कर दिया दोनों side, so 1% equal to 1.5, so 4% equal to 6, multiply, so 6, हम लोग सब ट्राइ कर रहेंगे, so 144, so Kamala income now is 144, and Bimla, Bimla, goes up by 10 percent so bimla income is 100 up by 10 percent it means bimla income would be 110 110 and question is asking the percentage by which kamala income would exceed the bimla income nearest to two. so take the difference between kamala income and bimla income so four three and we have to Compare with the Bimla income. So in denominator, we put 110 into 100. So 1, so 3, 4, 0 divided by 1, 1. So 11, 3 is 33, 1, 0. So we have to put 0, 0. So 11, 9, 99, 1, 0, again 0, 0, 9. So 30 point. 30.909 and we have to find the nearest value it means that nearest nearest to of 30.909 ka nearest kya hoga 31 hoga simple 29 to hoga nahi 28 hoga nahi 32 hoga nahi so 31 so 31 is the right answer that is option a so i hope aapko ye char question samajh mein aa gaye honge bahut basic se main samjha raha hu so if this makes sense to you then please guys do subscribe my channel and share with your friend so milte hain next video mein agle jo char question hai usko uske solution ke sath so bye bye take care and happy learning